Welcome back to the earliest reviews. Today's review is focused on Animal Kingdom Season 5, Episode 5, entitled Family Business. And the official synopsis of Family Business is, As Duran and Jay compete for the control of the family, Pamela presents the Cody's with a risky proposition. Pope processes an extra loss by exploding in violence. Craig does business with Frankie. And before I give my episode recap and my review, please like and subscribe and comment and tell me what I should review next. So here we go. So the episode begins with just Pope still out of it. He walks into a church group by the beach where he sees one of his old friends that he did time with out of prison. And we find out the fate of Angela as it's discovered that she's been killed. She was assaulted a couple of days ago by a guy named Shane, allegedly. And Pope basically loses it inside as not only has he lost his mother, but he's lost somebody else that he's cared about. So then it jumps to Craig and Wren. They're just talking about different things. Nothing really important to say the least. But then Wren... He gets a phone call from Pamela explaining how she's going to visit the house and see how it looks and everything because technically she is the owner of the house. So then we get a flashback scene of just Smurf and the entire family at a diner just eating, having a good time. And until one of the police officers that Smurf is sitting behind is just saying just pretty horrible things about the waitress. And then once the cops leave, Smurf finds out more information about one of the police officers from the waitress. And she uses that knowledge that she has to her advantage later on in this episode. So then we see Jay, Duran, and Craig. They are all just waiting for Pamela and her family to arrive. Pamela arrives with her son, Phoenix, and her niece. And they have... They sit down to have like a family dinner together and the family dinner is definitely, I would say, tense as there's just so much that needs to be discussed. Pope finally arrives and he and Pamela talk for a very hot second until Pope decides to leave. And you can definitely tell that Pope did remember Pamela and her son Phoenix when he was younger and everything as... You still don't know what really happened to Pope when he was young. And I think this was the very first time in this season that we've heard young Pope actually speak. Because in the last few episodes, he's been like silent. So then we get another flashback scene with just Smurf and the kids just going on a ride to find out more about this cop that Smurf is basically spying on. So then Pamela reveals that the boys can get their ownership back from her but they had to do this crazy job where they have to basically steal a safe that basically has like blackmailing evidence against pamela pamela and the boys they don't know what to do about it so then basically pamela gives the cody's 24 hours basically an ultimatum to decide whether or not they're going to take the job but if they don't take the job then Pamela is basically going to kick them out of the house within one week. So that leaves Jay, Craig, and Duran just trying to talk, trying to discuss what they should do because the situation right now is just very risky, very tense. Like anything is possible, good or bad, when it comes to this job. So then we see Pope, he is driving and everything, basically looking for Shane trying to find them and everything trying to get an explanation of what really happened with Angela he catches Shane but then it leads to an all-out foot chase between the two until Pope catches him and almost puts him on a t-shirt but then this is where we see that Pope is still 100% completely messed up as he asks Shane why didn't he help Julia why didn't he do this why didn't he do that and Shane's like I didn't I didn't touch Angela. I didn't do this. I didn't do it. I didn't do that. And so this man is basically a ticking time bomb, in my opinion. So then we see Jay and Duran. They meet up with Phoenix at his job where they are basically scouting out the location where the safe is at. And so 
they find out more information about the job. They find out more information about the location itself. And then we get another flashback see him just smurfing the entire family, just driving and everything until she gets pulled over by the cop that she was spying on. And basically what I assumed happened is that she paid off the police officer basically for help and protection because she found out more information about him. And so I believe that it's going to be her advantage later on down the line. So then we see Craig and Frankie, they're doing a job together about jewelry and everything else. And the dealership guy who's there, he seems interested to do the job. But at the same time, he definitely looked shady in some way because because of the way he was looking after the job was complete, like he just wanted to call somebody and like start to mess, even if you know what I mean. And it's discovered that Frankie is still struggling, just like the Cody's ever since a couple of jobs that she has done has not gone so well. She's lost some contacts, just like the Cody's. And long story short, Craig and Frankie get busy. And in my honest opinion, I have a feeling this is going to backfire on Craig big time because Frankie has definitely screwed him over in the past and him going back to her is just a really bad look, to say the least. So Jay and Duran, they have a huge heated discussion just about properties, stealing money, just basically things that's been brought up before. And then Craig and Ren, they have a talk about their lives about the baby as well and i just have a feeling that ren is going to try to abandon the baby and craig because something's off with her this season like i don't know what but just something's off with her and then pope he returns back to the house where he is packing things up as he says that he needs to leave for a little while as he just can't be in his house no more and honestly i don't blame him at all because he has gone through a lot and he's leaving, he leaves. And so the episode basically ends with just Duran and Jay talking basically about the job and just property still. And I thought this episode to me, it was just fine. It really wasn't nothing, anything special. Like it definitely did have some good moments and just a lot of other things being built up for later episodes. So here is my review. I would say the first things that I enjoyed about this episode was the fact is that we got to find out more information about Pam and her family. Pam seems as if like she may be connected just like Smurf was as not even her own son knows that much about her as apparently she doesn't tell anybody nothing about stuff. It doesn't matter what. I have a feeling that the job is going to backfire big time. And it's just going to lead to some bigger problems that needs to be solved. Um, Pope, on the other hand, this man cannot catch a break this season. First, he loses his mama and now he loses Angela. Like this man is a taking time bomb. He needs to be put on some medication or something because he's unstable and he really needs help. He really needs a lot of help. Angela being killed off to me is a little bit surprising because I would have thought that she would have came back at least maybe once or twice in this season. And for them just to kill her off screen and everything, is just like a slap in the face, in my opinion. Like, I don't know why I don't like people. I don't like when characters on TV shows get killed off off screen. Like, what's the point? Like, what is the point with that? Craig and Frankie, to me, like something bad is going to happen because Frankie has screwed Craig over before and it's just not going to end well, to say the least. As for Craig and Ren, I have a feeling that Ren is going to try to leave the family and the baby as well because to me, she's just been off this season and... I just think that she's just going to abandon the family, but out of all, I felt like this episode, it was cool for what it was, but until next time, everybody, goodbye.